Hi there, it's Victoria Gallagher from HipTalk.com and today I have a little tip for you. Um, it's a, a really kind of a story I wanted to share with you that hopefully will inspire you to pay attention to your intuition and that little voice inside your head. So <clears throat> yesterday, as, man, as some of you know, I have recently moved to uh, the Phoenix area. I'm in an uh, area called Cave Creek, Arizona. And um, we have um, our cable and our internet here uh, with Cox, and they, uh, the, you know, the internet's been a little slow. And uh, we also um, are paying a lot of money for not a very many uh, channels. And um, I'm not a big TV watcher, but my husband sure does like, uh, you know, he's missing a few of his favorite channels. And so it was my job sometime in the, in the next week or so to get in touch with Cox and see what we can do, um, at least as far as improving our internet speed upstairs. So I had heard about this service called Gigoblast from a girlfriend of mine, and I thought, oh, I need to check into that. So <laughs> this was my intention, and yet I hadn't actually uh, take, you know, it just was something I was starting to think about doing yesterday. So out of the blue, Cox calls me and they uh, introduce their uh, Gigablast program to me. And I'm like, what? This is crazy. Um, that they just called me and, you know, it turns out that, and it's probably at this moment sounds like promotion for Cox, but it's not. Um, it's just really a story that um, has two parts to it. This first part is maybe not the most interesting part. This next part is what I am talking about, about listening to your little voice. So <clears throat> being that I'm new in town here, I've been here about a month, and I've taken on a huge project that I initially really, I just took this on having no idea how it was going to happen, and it was just my pure intention that would cause this to happen. I have decided to uh, organize a 5K uh, for a charity called Fearless Kitty Rescue here in uh, Phoenix, they're in Fountain Hills, and um, you may hear more about that down the road. But the point is that I have little checklists of things that I need to accomplish each day. And one of the things that I had no idea how I was going to accomplish yesterday was speak to a runner. It was just something I had on my little to-do list, didn't know who that person was going to be. And so <laughs> I just took a stab at it because as I'm uh, wrapping up my phone call with this Cox lady, uh, she, uh, I, I, I just thought, you know, Maybe, maybe she's a local runner, and so um, because she was calling me from a, a 602 number, and I said, I said, what, you know, what the heck? So I asked her. I said, listen, you're going to think I'm kind of crazy, but you know, I'm new here in town, and I'm uh, currently um, organizing a 5K race, and I am one, wanting to find out: Are you one of these three people? Are you a runner? Are you somebody who? Uh, loves cats or animals in general, um, or are you somebody that might be able to put me in touch with a sponsor that might be interested in sponsoring our race? And she says, well, wow. And she's like, first of all, yes, I am a runner. Uh, check. <laughs> Second of all, um, I definitely do love uh, cats, and my son is a uh, cat uh, she, she, he's obsessed with cats, so check. Um, then uh, she did say that she thought that the people um, in her organization may be very interested in sponsoring my race, which was just something I didn't even expect at all. And so this um, is in the works right now. We'll see what happens, but it just goes to show, listen to that little voice, even if it scares you. Do you understand? That was a little ridiculous and scary to just put myself out there that way and decide that I was going to ask this uh, in kind of insane question to a perfect stranger that had called me for an entirely different purpose. But I thought, oh, go for it. I've got nothing to lose. And so I want to see... Um, what can you do today that's 
a little outrageous. Like what is your little voice telling you that you need to take action on that you're just not doing? Um, so I would encourage you to get that courage and get that, um, uh, you know, listen to your intuition, just tune in and do the thing that scares you. Do the thing that scares you today. And so I look forward to hearing your comments about that thing that you took on. That would be wonderful. And um, I have some wonderful hypnosis products that can help you to get out of your shell and, and uh, learn to talk to people and have courage and take action on things you're not taking action on. Because I'm telling you, your life can explode in a positive way if you will just Put yourself out there and do things, even though they might make you feel a little uncomfortable. It's only, you know, you're not going to grow or have anything better or different in your life without being a little uncomfortable because being comfortable is stagnant. Being uncomfortable is growth, and that's where the good stuff happens. So, um, I look forward to continuing to share with you uh, as things unfold in that regard, but um, be sure to share with me in my comment. Um, be sure to share this video. Also, go to my website, hiptalk.com, take a look around, see what you like. I have uh, um, plenty of free things on the site, and I also have, if you sign up um, on any page of my site, you can sign up for my free self-hypnosis step-by-step video training course. It is wonderful. Um, tens of thousands of people have gone through this course and I get we get all kinds of praise about it and um, it really can make a difference in your life. So I encourage you to sign up for that. Don't put it off. Uh, just go there, put your name and email address in. Yes, it's free. It comes to you over eight emails and the emails will direct you to the video of that day so that you get it um, you know very thoroughly and you will have a wonderful understanding of what self-hypnosis is and how to use it to achieve all kinds of wonderful goals in your life so i hope you have a fantastic day and this is victoria gallagher from hiptalk.com bye now